Well, I'm back already. Uh, what I'm doing now is demonstrating that in the previous live video that I just did, I'm testing this out. So I'm brand new. There's no other way to do it except for get on there and actually test it out. So sorry about that if this isn't relevant to what you're uh, doing. But what I noticed was with my previous live videos, when I showed a video that I downloaded off the internet and it's appearing on my screen, which the video was a tutorial video right here, stomp opener, there's a tutorial. And when I played it, like I'm doing right now. So I just played it for a second. When I played it the first time on live video, you couldn't hear the audio of what's coming out of my computer. Now you can hear it barely only because my microphone is that good and it's actually picking up the audio that I'm hearing from my headset is actually being refed back into the microphone. So on the previous live video, you can actually hear this audio slightly, but that's not the way I wanted to do it. So in this, this live test that I'm doing now, what I'm doing is on my OBS settings, which you can't, I probably can't show you, I'm gonna bring it over um, and show you what I did. I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna put this over here so you don't get too confused, but I, well, let's just, maximize it let's get it over with so here I am I've got multiples multiple of me so plenty of me going around now over here I have my scenes set up and I have this all scene which has basically it has me over here in the bottom right corner and I have properties if I go to my laptop camera I go to properties or filters filters you can see I have a chroma key and a crop and I've cropped the left and right a little bit and I've cropped um, I didn't have to crop up and down but I, I have a green screen look if I think if I, I wonder if I can disable this without, I'm not going to do it right now, but behind me is obviously a green screen and I set that up so that it works and the crop is part of the green screen is not over here. Anyways, you know what crop does. But the biggest thing I wanted to show you was this, this thing called I show you audio. So Mac, MacBooks, I'm on a MacBook Pro 2017 version. I got 16 gig of RAM and you know some 250 gigabyte hard drive space, things like that. But one thing that the MacBook hardware doesn't allow you to do easily is record audio from the microphone and record the audio from my computer itself. So picture this, you're trying to do an interview with somebody and their audio is coming into my headset. Now what my computer is doing now is it's recording my microphone but it's not recording what's coming in to my headset. But when you're doing an interview and you're talking to somebody, you want to record that. So what I did was I had to download this thing called I Show You. And I'm, I'm not going to show you that quite yet, but I want to show you the settings here. If I can even get to them while I'm recording with OBS. So let's go to settings. And if you click on audio, Okay, I'm glad that I'm glad that I can do this live while recording. So where it says mic auxiliary, you'll see that I have I show you audio capture instead of which I did last in the last video. I just used my Yeti stereo microphone because that's what I want to record. Now I show you audio. What that's doing is it is tricking my system to think that it's still recording one audio input, which it is uh, sort of, I guess you can't separate out the audio like i'm not going to get two different audio tracks for what's coming out of my computer and what's going into my microphone that's the only caveat but normally you don't really need to separate the tracks you would separate tracks if say one audio stream was way different than the other and you had to edit one and not the other one being affected things like that so what i show you is is it's a free software so you just type in google i show you audio capture for mac right and you have to follow the instructions, download it, install it. And then what you do is you set up an audio connection, which is basically it allows you to combine microphone and audio and have the MacBook think and trick it into thinking that it's one stream. So it still records from one thing. So what it does is it combines my output that's going into the microphone with the output of the, of the um, uh, computer and it calls that one input. It's a little confusing, but I'm telling you if you're trying to do interview styles or you're trying to record both 
at the same time, this is what you're going to have to do. And there's just no way around it. The MacBook does not have a method to record two separate audio tracks at the same time. So that's it. I wanted to show you that. I hope this is actually useful, this one here. And by the way, OBS is really awesome. You can change where I'm at. You can move things around. You can have multiple scenes, multiple settings. You can even uh, rotate scenes while you're actually live streaming. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have anything set up where it's going to look good or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely highly advise checking it out. I'm going to move this out of the way. And that's it. That's a quick, quick one. Definitely, if you're trying to capture audio from another person or uh, um, maybe you're playing a, a game on your computer, uh, and this is Mac only. So if you have a PC, I believe you don't run into this problem at all. So anyways, it took me a lot of fiddling, a lot of settings to mess around with in order to get this to work. But I wanted to give you at least the start and say, hey, here's how you do it. I know a couple people that are trying to get into the interview style um, YouTube and podcasts, and I have a feeling they're going to run into the same problem, so maybe this will be good for them. Um, also, the other alternative, which I haven't done, I haven't looked into too much, but I, I read about it, is a lot of people use Zoom for, for interviews, because what Zoom will do, I'm not sure if it's a paid service or not to get this particular feature. I think Zoom is free for certain things, but if you use it enough or whatever, you might have to get a, a an actual subscription. But you can actually record yourself and your audio and your video, and it goes to Zoom servers. And then the other person on the line dials in, does the same thing. It goes to Zoom. And Zoom will record both sets at the same time separately. So you can download both videos or the combined video, and you can edit it on your own software afterwards. Of course, uh, a lot... No, no, that's you know that's if you want to actually record it and actually edit it. Um, I'm probably gonna focus, hopefully in the future, on more live type interviews, but you never know. Um, I haven't really dabbled with the with a live interview yet. I've only done the non-live and then do some edits. So that's it. I wanted to show you mostly. I show you. It's called I show you. It's pretty cool. Definitely check it out if you're on a Mac. All right. See you next time.